Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain to you or show you how to create a puff or a pug. So puff and pugs, they appear on the front cover of magazines. Um, pugs are generally explaining um, something like a freebie that might be inside the magazine or something that comes free with the magazine, whereas a puff is an expression of how good the magazine is. Uh, for example, world's best men's health magazine. Okay, so you can see here that I've created more of a pug because I've said vouchers free inside this issue. Now you would not expect really to see three of them on the front cover of a single magazine, but I've put them on here just to show you the different styles that I'm going to teach you in a second. So I've created this one with a textured background. This one's just got a solid fill background and this one's got a transparent background. And I'm gonna show you how to make those now. So here I am in Photopea. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make a puff or a pug. So I've created one here using a circle. I've got a, a gradient stroke around the edge and I've put some text in it. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. File, new, create. And here I have a simple canvas that I'm going to work on. Down the side here are your shape tools. So I've got rectangles and if I click and drag in there, I can choose the eclipse tool. So I can drag a an eclipse on which is like a circle I've already set it up to look like this but this is how you make it look like that up here whilst you've got the shape selected in the layers panel you can go into the fill and you can choose a fill color of your choice to, to fill in the, the central part of the shape or you can have no fill and that will give you a transparent shape so on one of those examples that I showed you before that it was a transparent you could see through it and you could see the image underneath okay so I'm just going to give it a color then in the stroke you can have just a simple stroke or you can have a gradient stroke so you can have a simple stroke by choosing um, a simple stroke from these options here or you can choose a gradient and then inside that um, option if you click on it you can choose the colors then press ok so I now have a gradient and um, again my fill is no fill but I could choose a solid fill if I wanted to or I could have a textured background so I'm going to go to file open and place I've already downloaded a texture that I quite like um, which is this one and then I make sure that in my layers panel, the textured image is over the top of my shape and I can right click clipping mask and it will clip it. Now you can see there that it's got rid of my lovely gradient outside edge. So I'm just going to go back a stage, control and Z. I'm going to click on my shape in the layers panel and I'm going to duplicate that layer. So file duplicate layer. So I now have two. I'm going to position like a sandwich, my, my texture in between the two shapes. Then I'm going to right click clipping mask, but on my top shape, I am going to go to fill and I'm going to make it no fill. Final thing to do is to add some text. So go to the text tool on the left hand side and you can type some text in. Okay, so I'm just gonna highlight that, make it much bigger. Oh, that's too big. Make sure you press enter when you change the sizes up here, okay? Otherwise it won't work. Use the pointer tool to position it and then you can actually if you rotate that so it doesn't necessarily need to be sort of in a perfect spot. Now I'd go a bit further and I'd say what it is that's exactly free inside the magazine so that people can see um, or be enticed to buy the magazine. Now the final thing that you'll need to do is around this edge is, is a white background and we don't want that because if we want to layer that on top of our magazine front cover that we've been making we want to get rid of that so I'm going to click on the background and I'm going to delete it from the layers panel and then just go a little bit a step further I'm going to just crop the image down using the crop tool on the left hand side press enter and at this point I'm going to go to file export now usually I'd save it as a JPEG but because it's got a transparent background I'm going to have to save it as a PNG otherwise the transparent background will turn to white background so I'm going to save it as PNG save as go back to oh that's a barcode go back to this so this is a, a project that I've been working on file open and place find the download and there it is there I've just made that oh I've positioned it in the wrong place there we go so I can rotate that make it a bit bigger and you can see there that the transparent background has been maintained okay everybody that's how you make a puff or a pug have fun